So in October of 2001, I met the devil. No, really. Uh, this is my story. I do performance art, and as part of that, I make electronics. Now, I have no training in electronics, and um, one day in October of 2001, I, I made a big mistake while debugging something that I made. Uh, at the time, I was performing all, all over the United States, and I would control digital video, smoke machines, lights, and junk that I made with effectively a kind of exploded keyboard. Let's take a quick look at that uh, right now. When a whole young man comes to my breast, so here you can see some of the equipment that I'm talking about. There are effectively two loops that uh, we see here. So there are, there are two loops. There is a low voltage loop and there is a high voltage loop. The computer keyboard operates at 12 volt DC, which is low voltage. The equipment that you see on stage, the smoke machines and a number of the other pieces of equipment, they operate at a much higher voltage at 120 volt. Um, here we can see the piece that I was actually working on. And here you can see the two different, uh, there are two three prong outlets here that you see, three prong plugs, 120 volt. Uh, those were plugged in when I was working on the machine and I was debugging it. I made a terrible mistake not understanding that the device should have been completely unplugged. Uh, it was not unplugged. And uh, I was shocked to the point where I lost consciousness. Clarification, when I say I was shocked, I mean literally shocked. You see, these are the, that one of these was plugged in. And there's a high voltage capacitor in here. And I was trying to debug what was happening with these switches. Uh, so it's like, it was like getting hit with a stun gun. It literally knocked me out. This is the serial interface for the, for the, effectively turns this into a computer keyboard. I have no idea how long I was out, but in that moment, I, I met, uh, the devil and, um, when I came to, I, I wrote down, literally, uh, I transcribed exactly what had happened to me. I maintain, uh, for the past 30 years, I've maintained sketchbooks, um, songwriting notes, and uh, I transcribed word for word exactly what had happened to me. The video that you're about to see is a reenactment, a word-for-word -word reenactment of that process. It was shot exactly one week after the, after the event. Have you walked up and down the earth lately? No. Well, I have. Why were you doing that? I have examined man's wonderful inventions, what, and I tell what, you... What did you find when you examined man's wonderful inv inventions? In the arts of life, Man invents nothing, but in the arts of death, he outdoes nature herself and produces... What's with the wig? Well, see, my original intent was to go and stab you with this, but oh, this was a surprise for later. Look, I, I do birthday parties as well. I, I get hired to jump out of cakes and whatnot. I wasn't going to tell you, but, you know, whatever, as long as we're... Your work... Lax. Everything. The... Un... Folding. <laughs> stuff that dies and is 
breathed back to life by other things. And I have a syringe, and I want to stab you. You're afraid. I hear you say you hate me. I you do. don't hate me. No, I do. I, I do hate you. Because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I'll spew thee from my mouth. And you say, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, hit me in the comments. I'm doing a comment response episode and doing a number of other uh, videos coming up shortly.